sections so nitaangalia like uh, one of the biggest game ambayo imekuwa ina biggest stories katika ligi ya league uh, so the game ya vijana queens did ya don bosco oratory we all know the history how the story behind so back in mwaka 2020 na games ilifanyika arusha alicheza kwenye nusu finali vijana queens dhidi ya don bosco pantelin ya dodom so vijana queens akashinda mwishoni kabisa bado kama sekunde 10 hivyo utis i remember too kali fanya defense alenda la score basket there and that was the beginning of the era ya vijana queens baada ya kufika finals da ile za ile competition ya NBL vijana queens walifanikiwa ku ringe nos final so that was the assurance ya vijana queens kwenda ku perform kwenye zone 5 games then from there onwards coach KB Cabrola Shomari akachukua hatua ya kufanya usajili serious so he recruited like best players in Tanzania not really best best but players who can fit anachokita GA players who are physical players who can have pace who have game shape players who knows how to play the game bully game bully game or normal game na hapo tukapata squad sasa ya vijana queens Uh, vijana kuenza ambayo ime take over na ku dominate ndani ya Tanzania for two season without a loss hii ilikuwa ni season ya tatu walikuwa wanaenda kuimaliza pia bila loss game yao ya sita fortunately or oh, unfortunately actually fortunately kwa game ya basketball lakini unfortunately kwa vijana queens na club nzima ya vijana basketball wakapoteza ile umepoteza mechi ya uh, dhidi ya Ben Bosco Trunkat. So let me let me uh, let me check you. Uh, what's the headline ya ya, ya this weekend especially kwenye game kati ya VBQ dhidi ya Trunkat. Headline iwe uh, VBQ winning streak ime imeondolewa na Ben Bosco Trunkat au Ben Bosco Trunkat safari ya from nothing to something or to heroes last season the bosco oratory lost all their games by far this season with the addition of 6 uh, to 7 players they are unbeaten right now and they've been beating teams worse or like what they've been done of them so ameshinda mia i think twice ameshinda 90s ameshinda 70s ameshinda 80s jana pia wamemfunga timu ya vijana queens 69 59 so you can imagine the numbers so another thing uh, another headline eh hii ni clowning ya sema game ambayo imechezwa juzi Is it the crowning of a new queen in Tanzania? Like uh, what happened to Vijana Queens? Vijana Queens, do you remember the last uh, decade ilipofanyika ni kwamba timu was goes na dominate kwa upande wa wanawake ilikuwa ni Don Bosco Lioness or JKT Stars. It was any hapo ndo timu was goes na shelf. Lioness, JKT Stars, Lioness. then ikaja vijana queens dominate for almost 3 to 4 years wachukua back to back kwenye RBA lakini wakawa nashindwa kuperform vizuri kwenye NBA kwa sababu Lioness wao wanaweza kalikuti other players vijana I mean, ninja kit stars wakaja with full force baada ya kupambana kufanya training ambayo iko nzuri 
then uh are not going to protest against when it comes to NBA when it matters most. Again, from there onwards, as a dominant. Mwaka fumbili na ishirini mpaka hivi leo vijana queens wa makuwa like one of the top teams or the top teams the top team dani ya Tanzania So, baada ya kushiriki mashindano yote ambao ni official kwa miaka miwe vijana kupoteza mchezo yata mmoja vijana queens wa mpoteza hivi ya dani bosko tongat Timu ambayo last season ya jeshinda mchezo yata mmoja that this season I just a match at home. So, labda ni seme, uh, why Ushindi Don Bosco Tronkat? And actually, I'm wearing their gears. If you want these t-shirts, one of the fish not an auto, uh, one of the other Syrian and a young was our coach, Don Bosco Tronkat, Night of Flames. Then, we also got a t-shirt coming in. Actually, she took a in and even their men's team, and by any Don Bosco Ratori. So this is the Nubosco Trunkart, I bought it as well. Ko unezo kanunuo kwa jiga kusupport movement ya what really happened there. Yeah. So in which kiona ni kwamba, Vijana Queens na neza nga sema, I was happy though, kuona ile game Vijana Queens ya napoteza jinsi ya lipo poteza video ya Don Bosco, uh, Don Bosco Trunkart, sababu Vijana Queens wa mkua wanacheza style ya game, mani ya kushari wa mdominate ligi ya Ligi ya Tanzania na Dar es Salaam kwa kutumia style moja physicality na speed na pia game shape they have a better game shape so ilikuwa ni rahisi sana kwa wao kudominate na kushinda au kushinda uh, games zao kwa wingi so my concern always ilikuwa ni moja kwa nini una play the weak team why una entertain uh, ile force like speed uh, na nini, let's say game shape na speed, I mean na uh, physicality kushinda even kushinda mia to bully the other teams while well, that was the chance ya wewe ku play your style of playing ili kuweza ku master na kuweza ku perform vizuri when it comes to international games sabu when you go na hii actually nende kwa records kwa vijana queens kwamba when they go to international games it's, it's something else something else kwamba wanapoteza almost all of their games like uh, kwa mwaka jana kilichotokea ni kwamba when they go to Rwanda they lost all their games walikuwa na perform somehow uh, wana compete lakini in the end of wanapoteza games kwa sababu wanakutana na teams ambazo ziko physical if not at their level but or then way more better than their level and they have the game plans, uh, they have strategies on how they approach the games. It's it's tough to, to scout their teams. Like in Kwa Wow, it was easy. Na that was actually, it's a talk right now at Eastern Central. Kwa Tanzanian teams are so easy to scout. You know who to press, when to do what, if what force. So that's that's actually ni kitu ambacho natakiwa tubadilishe Tanzania as a whole. Na tukikumbuka mwaka juzi vijana Queens pia walipoenda kuperform kwenye international games zone 5 na uhakika zilifanyika hapa Dar es Salaam. Walishinda many games except uh, games ya I think ya wanya, wanya Rwanda walishinda two games I think. Ya wanya Rwanda na game ya wa, wa, wa Ethiopia. Something like that. I mean walishinda dhidi ya wa Burundi sio wa Rwanda sorry walishinda dhidi ya wa Burundi timu ambao walioishinda ya wa Burundi this uh, mwaka ule it was a complete different team walivyoenda kucheza nao Rwanda kwa sababu Burundi walikuwa performance yao ni mbovu sio kutokana na strategy sio kutokana na uh, skills au game plans walikuwa performance yao ni mbovu kwa sababu they don't have a game shape Kipindi kile Burundi walikuwa hawana so many teams au so many tournaments za kuwafanya waweze kupata game shape hapo wanaweza ka compete na teams ambazo zinachezwa kwa muda mrefu zaidi kama let's say vijana kuinza au timu za Tanzania 
but we can change their system it was all competition every day like when they cheza zinaweza zikawa team 4 au 5 au 6 lakini wanacheza uh, like wanakutana zaidi ya mara 6 au mara 7 so hiyo pia katika different tournaments au katika same tournaments so hiyo ikawafanya pia waweze kupata pace na game shape ambayo iliweza kuwafanya wa a complete different team walivyoenda kucheza kwenye zone 5 games so juzi kilichotokea au let's say jana kilichotokea ni kwamba vijana kwenzi wamefungwa kwenye fast pace kwa kabwa full court most of the time walikuwa nakabwa actually the whole game the whole first three quarters walikuwa nakabwa uh, man to man defense tight man to man defense and then kwa ta mwisho uh, Don Bosco Oratori wakacheza zone i mean Don Bosco Tronka tukacheza zone ambao pia walikuwa wanashindwa sana walikuwa wanapata tabu uh, kuibit kwa sababu walikuwa mentally tarosha kasha kasha kwa affected like they lost the game though wali approach ile game uh, na uoga team ya vijana queens you can see the way ambapo pia walikuwa na approach makosa walikuwa wanafanya the way ambapo walikuwa wako reactive na the way ambapo walikuwa na communicate unaona tukabisa kwamba this team uh, imekuja kwa the game with fear in team ya Don Bosco Tronka they have something to prove they were all sharp fast and quick so mara nyingi unaweza kutegemea ukimwangalia mchezaji kama Tumwagire Joshua uh, they are center kwamba kwa kumuona unaweza kusema kwamba you post slow lakini hapa kuna video inaonyesha hapa jinsi gani ambapo Tumwagire ana speed kuliko most of the players ambao wamecheza kwenye team ya vijana queens so hichi uh, ni kitu ambacho pia vijana queens wanatakiwa waji wajifunze na pia kubadilika hii pia ni call ambayo inaenda kwa coach KB ambapo anaweza akachange approach ya, ya team yake na uzuri imetokea katika mechi ya sita so they have like uh, wana mechi 8 au 9 baadaye katika round 1 so anaweza akachange akabadilika kwa sababu next time i think next week wanacheza dhidi ya Don Bosco Lions and it will be a tough game kwa wao pia. Uh, sub safe season kama kuna timu ambayo inawafia. Wamecheza two games, game ya JKT I think imeenda overtime. Kama sio overtime basi wameshinda mwishoni kabisa kwenye sekunde ya mwisho. Game ya Polisi wameshinda mwishoni. Na hizi games zimekuwa ngumu sana kwa vijana Queens baada ya Lili Lilian Silidioni kuto kuwepo katika lineup. I think ana injury that's why yachezi na ndo mchezaji ambaye amekuwa na pace kubwa au akiwepo uh, vijana Queens pace yao inakuwa kubwa sana. Lakini sio tu Lilian Silidioni na hapa pia tunaweza kuona pengo la tukusubira mwalo Samba. Last season vijana Queens walikuwa wanaweza kacheza first half either mkaenda 27 25 27 23 mnalingana nao lakini when tuku akiingia ndani ya game alikuwa anacheza ana change the whole scenario au playing style ya vijana Queens defense inakuwa tight and then game inakuwa iko transition more pass or fast break and then unashangaa tu boom second half vijana Queens unakuta 69 the other team 32 wakati ilikuwa ni 23 versus uh, 27 so you can see a gap iliyopo kati ya uh, baada ya Lilian Sirioni kutokuwa na let's say injury au kutokucheza lakini pia kutokuwepo kwa tukusubira Mwalusamba ambaye yupo uh, kwenye timu ya Tausi Royals so that's that's another reason lakini kingine uh, kama ningekuwa let's say vijana Queens as a coach ninge ningefanyaje eh yeah, ningechukua hatua gani tumeona mara mbili au mara tatu wametumia hii mbinu hakutaka sasa kuiendeleza zaidi kwamba wanaenda ku post either ku post with miss matches au ku target directly uh, to Mwagile Joshua so with that uh, ilikuwa easy kwa sababu alikuwa anapata fouls and basket fouls and basket i think imetokea mara mbili au mara tatu wamepata hivyo vitu lakini mwendelezo wake uka haupo tena then wakawa anataka kama kushindana ambao it's tough sasa kwa ile style ambayo nilisema why naichukia style ya vijana kuinza ambao walikuwa wanaitumia kipindi cha nyuma au even sasa hivi wakutana na timu ndogo mambio mbio tu uh, au pressing 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 ni kwa sababu hii 
kwa sababu when you meet a team ambayo ina fast pace the newers mnachukua watu wa gani so hapa ndio vijana kwanza watakiwa wa slow down their game so waache uh, trunkat waje na full speed fast pace and then lakini wao wakipata mpira wakae na mpira muda mrefu sababu tayari wana body size wana size kubwa kuliko Don Bosco Trunkat Trunkat which is the weak, weakness card ya Don Bosco Trunkat wao wana wana size wana miili mikubwa so wakae na mpira muda mrefu kana mpira let's say count your seconds to 4 seconds and then pass to another person akae na mpira use all your 24 seconds vizuri or wisely It may not all 24 lakini inaweza kawa 80% uh, or above ya 24 seconds ambazo mnazipata so with that mnakuwa mna control pace ya game wao watakuja huko mbio mbio wanawafunga lakini nyenye mnawafanya mnawaforce timu ya Don Bosco Tronca kwa muda mwingi wanafanya defense so ultimately kota ya nne uh, Don Bosco Tronca tuangekuwa wame wamechoka kwa sababu wanafanya defense sana na pia wanaenda transition lakini kingine Uh, ingekuwa rahisi sana kwa nyinyi ku control pace kwamba muda gani tunafanya nini vipi na pia kuamalizisha fouls mara nyingi kwa sababu wanaingia katika miili wakifanya foul wakifanya defense muda mwingi ambapo ingekuwa ni advantage pia kwa kwa vijana queens lakini kwa sababu na wenyewe wamezoea nginja nginja that was tough kuitumia uh, kwa sababu subconsciously au habitually tabia vijana queens ni sio hiyo kwa so, lazima wafanye vitu wanavyofanya So kingine pia kwa Don Bosco Trunkat ni hichi kwamba ni timu ambayo ina watu wadogo sana. So what would you do kama mnakutana na timu ambayo ina pace kubwa kama ya kwenu? Let's say kama hapo kuna play kama mbili tatu ambazo uh, nani Tumaini Dose alienda kumwatak direct uh, nani Tumagile Joshua alienda kupost mbele yake akafanya uh, dream shake akaenda ka attack kwenye rim akafanywa foul lakini nyingine uh, nani Noela Wandameno alienda ka post mbele ya Nasra kafika akaenda kafunga ikawa imeingia basket nyingine hakutaka tena ku post akatoa pass ambapo alitakiwa post tena ili ashindwe then wabadilishe mchezo lakini mwanzoni kabisa wa game tulimuona uh, nani uh, Rosrin akienda ku post tena pia mbele ya uh, mbele ya Irene na kuweza kupata haikuwa basket ile ilikuwa ni foul so hizo zote ni opportunities ambazo walitakiwa waendelee ku capitalize kadri game inavyozidi kwenda na kwa Don Bosco Tronca sasa kwa sababu ya kuliona hili wanatakiwa sasa wabadilishe their way of approaching the game. Let's say mtu akija kupost na size ambayo amna watu judo what's the next option? So that's that's what they have to do. And actually that's my take on game ya vijana queens dhidi ya uh, Don Bosco Tronca.